how to add a Pinterest feed to your Squarespace website. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know over the shoulder step-by-step -step, so that you can follow along and add a Pinterest feed to your Squarespace website. Okay, so to do this, the first thing that you need to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. Go ahead and open that up and it will take you over to this website right here. Now, this is Elfsight. It is a software that allows us to get access to different tools and widgets that we wouldn't usually be able to access with Squarespace alone. Now, the awesome thing about Elfsight is the fact that you can sign up for free. So all you need to do is enter your email in here, click on start, and then you can go ahead and set up your account. Once that is done, once you are signed up, you have your Elfsight account, just click on widget at the top. And this brings us over to show us all of the widgets that you can access on Elfsight. However, in this video, we are looking for Pinterest feed. So if we just type in Pinterest, you can see it will show up right here at the top. So just go ahead and click into this. And then if we scroll down on this page, you can see we have a few different options or templates to choose from. So just go ahead and choose one of these. Um, I'm going to go for this one. Once that is selected, click on continue. And then right here in the profile, you can literally change what profile this is. So if I change this to like Burberry, you can see that is going to change right there. However, all of these are still like Tommy Hilfiger, which it was before. So for the boards, you want to change them all individually. So all you have to do is go to Pinterest, grab the board URL that you would like, the link for the board, paste it into here, and then it will show up. So you can just add boards, you can add as many boards as you like, you can take boards away and everything like that. And once that is done and you're happy with how this looks, just click on add to website. From there, it's going to save the widget and then give us like another example of how this is going to look. Once you are happy with that, click on publish in this top right corner. And then it's going to take us through to this next screen. Now, it's going to ask you to choose a plan. The plan that you go for depends on how many monthly website views your website gets. However, if you just want to test out Elfsight, see how it works, you can go for the free plan. Once you have chosen your plan, it will take you through to this screen right here, where you can see this piece of code. And from here, it is literally just copy and paste. So all we need to do is copy the code, then go over to Squarespace. And this is where we can add this in. Now, what you want to do is add a new section. So choose whereabouts on the website you want to add this. Click on add section and then super, super important, go for the blank section. So click on add blank section. That section will be added in. And then all we need to do from here is click on add block in this top left corner. Then from all of these options that open up, click on code. Double click on this when this box appears. And then all we have to do is delete the code in there and paste in some new code. We can then stretch this out to fill the entire way, just like that. And then you can see at the top, it says embed scripts, blah, blah, blah. Just ignore this. This is only going to show up on editor. So if we exit out of the editor and on the actual website, you can see that that is gone. We are just left with the feed. And that is how you can add a Pinterest feed to your Squarespace website.